finance the first item on our agenda. I call the meeting to order at 631 or 1831 for those of you who do military time. Okay. I'm sorry. And the first item on the agenda is we have to go into non-public session. Pursuant to RSA 91A colon 3 Roman numeral 2A personnel and 91A colon 3 Roman numeral 2 matters that would affect the reputation of a person other than a member of the board. Sorry. Take a vote? Yeah. Chair a vote? I make a motion that we go into another vote. December 19th, 2019 minutes. Um, where'd she go? Okay. Oh, yeah, she's oh, right uh, You have December 26th. That was a non-public. It should be oh. the 19th. Um, the meeting was called to order by, you have a repetition. Number one and number three are repetition. I call the meeting to order. On number seven, acceptance of unanticipated funds pursuant to RSA 3195B for $6,678.16. We kind of want to put in the dollar amount. And number one below that, it wasn't a bump so much as a power failure. Source. Any, do you have any other changes, additions, corrections, deletions? Given those, I make a motion with those adjustments that the minutes be accepted. Second. Thank you. Aye. Aye. Okay. Are there any new invoices or purchase orders? the end of the year, you clean them up. <laughs> okay. Review of the treasurer's report and budget data today. And these are the two, and it appears we made it to the end of the year without going over. Well, we haven't gone off the edge of the cliff. <coughs> but this is still going to be subject to review by the auditor and We've got to do some double checking on some of these expenses. But otherwise, it looks good. Not marvelous, but it looks good. We did well. A little bit. Uh, review, and oh, review and disposition of pending purchase orders. I know, are there any pending? Where you go? There you are. No, there are no there are pending, are the ones hanging out for the year. Punk Alley, and those are pending based on where we're at on the invoices. As soon as we get that all squared away, you know what we're doing. Okay, you need to be aware that credit from E.J. Prescott, mm -hmm. we 
put it in the system as an accounting entry to show that the credit appeared in December. Okay? So we, we, we it, it's the way the accounting is done. When the check shows up, sometimes in mid-January, we assume we have a receivables account that we can put that against. And at that point, because we have to reflect, we have reduction of expenses in December. Otherwise, we'd have to. So we still turn on, on like, he wants the purchase uh, order set up. Or, uh, like, Lavalette? No, no. Whatever. See. So we, uh, they they pronounce it here, Lavalette, like they pronounce my name. Anyway. Sure. Yes, them. Them to, uh, to go. Why don't we get an estimate of what it's going to cost first? We already do. Yeah. Do we have a written estimate? Yeah, it's budgeted for three thousand dollars. It's in the. That's all. It's in the pump galley. Yep. We already get the uh, variable frequency drives. We can be installing those, and we're going to be cutting a little more. Okay, but Lavalette is three thousand dollars. Yeah. Paper. Okay. That's all the uh, instrumentation. Purchase order box two. Uh, the material that comes in with that has to be a separate purchase order. Okay, okay. Do you have a quote from Lavalette for three thousand dollars, separate from the all the other stuff? Uh, Lavalette's come out, and we discussed the reason I had the three thousand dollars built into the pump galley upgrade is they agreed to do that work for three thousand dollars. If they could just give us a very simple thing that says. We agree to do the instrumentation and tie in for three thousand dollars. Okay, that's all on their letterhead. That's all we need, and then it would be subsequently approved, right? Yes. Okay. But can we spend money in the new of twenty thousand dollars check in advance? We over a fifty thousand dollars budget. No. We've already reduced our expenses with an accounting procedure created a receivable, so when the check comes in, it will simply clear the account. It, it's done this way all the time. Can we have to say, can they come in tomorrow and work? No. Okay. Who is they? Yes. I, yes, I suppose, but I still want that letter just saying we propose to do the instrumentation for $3,000 as Dr. No, we're talking about the funding side of it. Well, the funding side of it is uh, that seven thousand dollars of funding. We don't have the money in house, but it'll we do. If you look at paper, no, we have cash. We can cover. Are you talking about cash, or do we have? We have cash. Yes. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, where is it? That's right here. See. <coughs> And if we ran short, we can pull it from here because it was a warrant article to deal with uh, fund balance. Okay. We have plenty of cash. Okay. Okay. Letters for legal engagement. We have two of them that we have to deal with. No, there's another one. first one is, as you know, um, Justin has moved on to his own, he's a sole practitioner now. And so in order to leave Upton, Hap, Upton and Hatfield, attorneys of law, we have to indicate to them, okay, are we going to stay with Upton and Hatfield, or are we going to go with Justin, or do we want some combination deal? Huh? Suggest we stay with Justin. Okay. I do too. I like them on my thoughts. Okay. And we're not going to do anything fancy like a blend or anything? No. no. Only one signature on that. Okay, we have to make a motion that someone representing the Board of Commissioners authorized to sign on behalf of the Board. Board of Vern. Or chairman to authorize the sign. Second. Okay, I'll go along with that. That's the majority vote. Okay, all right. All right. All right. I'll sign it. He's been doing this. Since huh? Before we got here. Pardon? He's been doing this since long before. Yes, I, I will know. Those cheap bastards. 
Uh, well, those people didn't even send an envelope to return it. That's what it came in. <laughs> return to send. I just I love in. your sense of the of pot. Does Attorney Justin have a last name, and what would that be? Justin Richardson. Richardson. Richardson? Yeah. And his practice is where? Fort Smith. Thank you. You want to know the name of his sole practice? If that would help, sure. That yeah, might. It's called New Hampshire Water Law. That's his specialty area. The other one is actually a letter of engagement between Justin Richardson, our attorney, and the board. I make a motion that we accept and engage. Second. Doesn't matter. Okay. All of us have to sign this one. Right? You ready? You said yes. You said yes. I say yes. All right, public comment on agenda items. Thank you. It would be nice if you said, we all know who you are, but I'd be, be happy to say so. I'm Anthony Matthews, 437 Local Street. Thank you. So I'm, I'm here, um, I, you know I'm a supervisor of checklists, yep. and we're coming up on an election cycle, yep. and I just wanted to be sure that last year we came, that was my first time at an annual meeting of the district, so it was a little bit uh, rocky for me, mm -hmm. and I think this year we'd like to have uh, more communication, particularly with the clerk, in the preparation of the recommended, you know, the um, accurate voter lists. So some of the things that we would need help with is publicizing the meeting date of your meeting in March. I'm on the budget committee and I saw that it was March 17th and I noticed that you sent round tentatively. You kindly made a change when the uh, date of a meeting conflicted with Halloween. This is not a legal holiday, but it would be nice to give some consideration with those who might be you know, torn between some sort of sorry, thing they do every year. Some sort of holiday? Uh, 17th of March, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. It's not a holiday, it's not. But it's important to some people. And I imagine this place would be pretty busy too, I don't know. Sure. But anyway, um, I think you, it would be wonderful to pick a date that would generate the highest participation level. I think we're coming up on a filing date too, which is why I'm talking about this tonight. If there are people who are interested in filing for the commissioner, the vacant positions, commissioner, clerk, treasurer, whatever those positions are, the filing date, I believe, is January 22nd to 29th, and today is already. Well, if you know what the date is, that would be really great. Uh, actually, there are no dates because people get nominated from the floor. Uh, I think that by state law, which you adhere to and quote all the time, RSAs are a habit with you, it would be really great if we had some compliance with applications so that people could, who are interested in running for these positions could apply in advance and let people know. So that is another thing. Um, prior to the annual meeting, we have to prepare voter checklists and ensure that everybody, every voter is on that. So we need to work with your district clerk. Lastly, according to RSA 669-62, the supervisors of checklists are required to appoint the moderator 
for the town, or in this case, the district, when there is a vacancy, and there is a vacancy, and the supervisors will be meeting next week to begin that conversation. And I prepared the memo so that you could each have a copy with the, with the information about the, the law so that we are working together with you to come up with the best possible um, circumstance for this year's annual meeting. We have one person who's already in, expressed interest in being the moderator. Could you give them my name and have them get in touch with me? They, the supervisors of checklists, the super, supervisors of checklists will appoint according to RSA 669-62. Vacancies in the office of town moderator are filled by appointment made by the supervisors of checklists. Although the statute provides that vacancies are filled by the select board, where there are no checklist supervisors, or in this case, the commissioners, the fact is that the town is required to have supervisors and by RSA 41-46-A. So, you know, you are constantly uh, quoting the laws and the um, various uh, rules that we are obligated to follow. This is one that the supervisors take seriously. Please have that person come to me and we will interview them for the position of moderator for the annual meeting. Thank you. You will not be appointing. The supervisors appoint. I'm sorry, but according to our attorney, we do appoint you. Your attorney doesn't even know that this is a subject matter, is my guess. Okay. According to the law, RSA 669-62, and you are to the letter of the law all the time, Commissioner Crozier, all the time you are to the letter of the law. We will be appointing the, the moderator for that meeting. I suggest we send a copy of this to the, uh, yeah, put a lawyer and then write my opinion. We will. The districts are a little different than towns. Not when it comes to any other time at any other meeting you have consistently quoted state law as obligates towns and districts. This is a state law that obligates towns and districts. And I'm sorry, I'm a little bit nervous about doing this. I don't like confrontation. It's really not my thing. But I do look at my responsibility and take them seriously. So thank you for noticing. Thank you. And, and we will um, the vision of us and the checklist have a separate, um, we have given that, we had several years ago the list of every street that yes. is in the, the water and sewer district. And they have made a, a separate checklist just for the sewer. So I think they we may still have, have access that. to that, but right. I would like to be sure it's accurate. Right. We would like to be sure it's accurate. We're going to begin meeting next week. We have four mm -hmm. elections this year, plus deliberative sessions and um, the annual meeting of the uh, water sewer district. So there's a lot for the supervisors to be responsible for this year. And uh, it would be helpful to work collaboratively with the district commissioners on this. I'd like to have Rob Cavan on 13 Woodland Drive. I'd like to know last year what the how much we spent on legal fees. Total? Total. For water, it was eleven thousand six twenty-six. For sewer, it was eleven thousand six twenty-six. Same mm -hmm. same figure. It's split between two. All right, so what was that for? Was uh, it any of it for like permitting? No, it was for legal representation. For, did that benefit any of the people in the district? Yes, it did. It benefited the members of the district hugely. Well, wow. we can't go into the details because it's the attorney client privilege. Okay. I was just curious that it went up so much to the previous year. That yeah, just seems that a lot of stuff's not getting done, a lot of money's being wasted. Hmm? I explain to you what you said. I don't know what to say. It just seems a lot of money's getting wasted and things aren't getting done in a timely manner. I mean some stuff is, some isn't. What do you call a timely manner? Well there's been a vacancy, for example, for a long time, a vacant position. 
that's one thing that didn't get done. That's been advertised for looking for people. Do you see how many people are looking for present people to qualify for that work? It's hard to get anybody. We're trying to work into that now. We're, we're trying to address that now. We haven't been working on it. More Can importantly, I ask if the new position was advertised? Or the administrator was that advertised? It was. We went through a private or let's say non public uh, method. Convenient. The problem is sorting through people who are grossly unqualified. Would you just get a headhunter? No, it's a private group. Okay. Gail? We're talking about losing um, money and stuff. I was wondering if um, Bloomins is being charged yet for their 19 units. Uh, people are living there, and I was just wondering, I mean, that's a big income. It should be like close to almost $5,000 a quarter. Are we billing them? When were the meters put in, and have we been billing them for those units? Yeah. yeah. I know the meters were in. Chris. They you oversaw that. that. Have we been billing since the meat has been installed? The water's been available, whether you use it or not, to material. Yes, they have been. Have we been They're billing? They're getting billed this cycle. Yeah. Yeah. What quarter would show that? Quarter four of this. The last quarter, quarter of 2019. Yeah, most recent. Okay. Yeah. Just the billing is the 19 units. I'll answer your question. Yeah. 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 Uh, laundry facility. Back to your question about things not getting done is, first of all, the pump gal is almost complete, is it not, gentlemen? Yeah. Correct. We're getting there, pretty, pretty much. So. Furthermore, we well, found a fix in the fall. I don't think you were here when the meeting came out on that. No, and that's why budget, I want to find out where you guys are at. Well, we had the money, and we had a time and date to get it done. Between the school system and the budget committee, they refused it. So it's going this what? spring. Pipe on Willie Street. Are you talking about Willie Street? Oh, we're talking about Willie Street, which we got that for huh? 106000 I wasn't sure what he was talking about. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was one of the biggies. There was a lot of meetings over. Yeah, yeah. And the budget committee voted no. Voted no. Well, for an emergency appropriation. And then there has to be a whole series of meetings for the school, et cetera, et cetera. That could have been done already. Lack of flexibility, lack of leadership. Not due to this uh, point. Uh, 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 I think they would have played a, a thing in that because it got cooled off too fast. Not due to the process, if they run a, a temporary water line on top of the ground while the work is going on, and the weather changed just like that and got off the cold. So that would have shut it down. Yeah, you can't do anything in the winter. You can't now. No, that's why it's cold. No, no, that's, that's why it's it all scheduled for the spring? We have a warrant on it. To, to do the funding and everything else to get approval to do it. And then we'll have to schedule it after that point. And just so you know, that cost was less than half the estimated cost that was originally in. So it'll be a lot cheaper <coughs> and a lot more system. Well, we have a cost will be the cost when it's done. <laughs> well, you never know what's going to happen when you open it. Correct. Dr. Clinton, he's the one. Um, we got a, a preliminary quote today for the interest cost, it was 2.85% which is cheap money. That's for five spread years. over five years, yeah. it's like $17,000 spread over five years for the cost. So well, that, that includes several, several other projects that are part of this. Okay. One more question. I just wanted to give you guys copies of the emails I was referring to that Ray sent to do with staffing issues that uh, nobody responded to and about Katie that go back to last summer. So, he'll probably ring a bell once you come over. Anything else? Not hearing anything, I make a motion to adjourn. We are adjourned as